thought I would film a little vlog today because yesterday I was just really fancying filming a YouTube video because I haven't done that in so long. I thought today I'd just bring you through like a really probably quite chill day in my life at uni. I'm actually going home next weekend so this is going to be one of my last opportunities to film a video like this which is insane. I've had such a lazy morning which I feel like was just so needed. It is currently 10 45 I'm off my bed still but I've just got out of bed. I'm now gonna go and make some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna have tether on toast so let's do that. I just had some breakfast obviously as you saw and I've tidied up my room and now I'm gonna grab a quick shower and just get ready for the day. I haven't put makeup on for almost a week now so I'm gonna do that today and I really feel like putting on like a bright fun outfit for some reason so I'm gonna do that. I'll basically just do a little montage thing of me getting ready for the day because I feel like you've all seen it 101 times. Just a look at like the full outfit. It's really giving mum. And it's also super, super bright. I feel like it probably would look better with black jeans. But my black jeans are in the wash and they actually need to be washed. So I'm just going to settle with these blue ones. But these blue ones have rips in them. These are from H&M. I feel like I bought them just before I went home for April. I really like them. The only thing is they're all buttons, which I guess is good. But it's just a bit of a pain, you know, it's a bit annoying. But yeah, this is the outfit. I kind of like it. I'm really channeling spring today. Come on, we can't talk. I can't tell you what I want. No. Nope. You were hot. You were hot. God damn, she was hot. I met you in the summer. I never fell in love. It was the weather that made it feel so good. By the fall, you fell and then I flew away. And I only wish that I had more to say. Nothing you can do about a baby. It's too late. I'm gone. Nothing you can do to make me change my mind. I'm pretty much ready for the day. The only thing that I haven't done this morning is spray my little scent because I want to talk about it real quick. Basically, this is the scent that I've been wearing recently. I freaking love it. It is called Seychelles from The White Company. I actually discovered this because when I got my electric diffuser, I went into The White Company with my mum. She was shopping there and I was bored. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to go smell all the scents. Since then, I've been absolutely obsessed with it. I've had this everywhere. I have a shower gel of this. I have the perfume. I have the reed diffuser oil. There's a hand cream of this in my downstairs toilet. I'm literally obsessed with this scent. And it is bergamot, amber and vanilla. This bottle, as you can see, is very nearly run out. And this little thing, this little guy is £30. I do not have the money to buy a new one of these right now. My TikTok is absolutely flooded with stuff about the Zara perfumes. So I had a little Google and I tried to find a vanilla scent in Zara, one which was sort of similar to this scent. And the one that kept coming up was called, I think, Red Vanilla. What I'm going to do right now is pop into town, go to Zara and see if I can find the Red Vanilla scent. I can't 
Nope. I thought I'd just pop you guys up here so we could have a quick little chat about my town experience, which was fine, it wasn't really an experience. Anyway, I went into town and as you saw, I went straight to prep. I feel like for me, getting a prep is like a love language to myself. Like even if I get the most basic chicken sandwich like I did today, just something about the whole experience of going to a prep is top tier. And then obviously I went into Zara. I did actually get some bits, which I'll give you a little haul of in a second. And then I went into Primark weirdly i'm not really sure why i went into primark i never end up getting anything i didn't today i wanted to look around the homeware stuff though i was trying to find like those crates but they only had them in like really bright colors and i wanted like the pastel ones every single time i go in that shop i get so anxious even if i find something that i like i often end up just leaving it there because i get so nervous just like waiting in those queues like i always see tiktoks of like primark air and you know what I think it's a thing. Anyway, then I went to McDonald's and I got McFlurry. The sun has come out, like the weather today is so nice and I just fancy an ice cream. So I got a McFlurry and then I just got the bus back. Anyway, let me show you what I picked up in Zara. First, I just got a really basic black racer top. I actually have this little top already in white and I wear it all the time it's so good for layering it's just good to throw on as well like with jeans or whatever and i just wanted a black one so i got a black one i think i got this in a size up though this was only 5.99 which is so good and, I and then i did actually end up getting the perfume that i went for this is the red vanilla one they also didn't have like the mini one so i have got 90 mils of this and it was 12.99 which is not bad at all Ooh, that was horrible this is the new perfume the bottle is so nice Mmm, I really like this. This is good. This is gonna last me a long time. I'm pretty much almost done with university. I think I've got two lectures left for the first year, which is actually mad. And I have two pieces of coursework left to do, both of which are actually group works. I'm actually gonna go to a little study space and just sit there for a bit and actually make a start on this piece of coursework. I'm 